talking with KTVU legal analyst Michael Cardoza, who joins us now on The Nine. You've been following this since the very beginning <laughs> when this happened. It, yes. This must be terribly painful for Lacey's family, bringing oh this all Lord. up. I would imagine that the Innocence Project must have good reason for bringing this up. What is the catalyst? Someone went to the Innocent Project. I would imagine it was Pat Harris. He's the attorney you just saw on the screen. He was second chair when the case was tried. The Innocent Project in L.A. is deluged with cases. Please take our case. Look into it. There's got to be something that they saw that in hand, in inspired them to take this particular case. And I'm wondering, what aren't you telling us? Okay. Is there something out there that you know that we don't? We know about the van. We know about the mattress. We know that DNA was tested before. Is there something new about that? So that's why this is so interesting right now. Okay, and for people catching up, you're talking sure. about this burglary, alleged burglary that happened right. across the street uh, or in the neighborhood, right? right. Uh, either on or after, <laughs> near. That's the big the, the, question. Right, that's the big question. Now, you've been doing this for a long time. You and I were here during this whole case. I think it's it's pretty surprising. 20 years it's ago. It's been 20 My years. Lord. What what do you think? I mean, you've been a district attorney, but like, what does your gut tell you about this? Uh, my gut tells me they're doing the right thing. I Right from the get-go, I thought, Scott's not going to get a fair trial. When they moved it from Modesto, just 80 miles away, I thought, wait a minute. This is a news area covered by a lot of TV stations that reach Modesto, that reach Redwood City. Everybody in NorCal had an opinion about Scott Peterson. I thought this case should have been transferred or moved to Los Angeles or San Diego and tried there because people in SoCal would say, hey, heard about Scott, but I don't know much about it. That's the type of jury you want. And then you had the crowds there during the trial. Think about being a juror, Jen. Are you going to find him guilty or not guilty, rather, or hang a jury? And are you going to be able to live in San Mateo County with the way people reacted? I thought that was the beginning, and the stories go on from there. Why do you think, I mean, it seemed like he was very unlikable. Right, people jumped to that. That's that's kind yeah. of the feeling people had about him that he he's guilty without all of the evidence yeah, know, maybe being there. Gut, it was a gut reaction of people because he because cheated, he, right? Yeah, because he, he lied. Cheated, but that doesn't mean he's a killer. I don't know whether Scott Peterson committed these murders. I do know in my mind he did not get a fair trial. I do know that. The jurors came in. They were all amped up. I mean, here they are. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened in their life. I know when that verdict came back in the courtroom, you could hear cheers outside. Now, then you move to the death penalty part of it. You're going to find him, you know, giving Melwap life without possibility. What would the people outside do? What would the people in the county do? This case has to be looked at. I'm glad it's being looked at again. What are some of the, we talk about their, his constitutional rights sure. were violated. So what are they talking about specifically? Well, they're talking about how the trial went down. They're talking about how the police investigated the case. I always had the feeling that there are police officers that when they focus on a case, they make a decision internally. I think he did it. Then they go out to investigate, and they come across evidence that's exculpatory, okay, meaning evidence that shows he didn't do it. Well, let's just kick that to the curb, because I know he did it, so why should we talk about this? And that's why that burglary is so important. Did the burglary happen on the day Lacey went missing? If it did, that's a big deal. And you know Ted Rollins, who worked here at the right. time, was out there on the day after when the police say the burglary happened. That's the police's theory. It didn't happen the day Lacey went missing. It happened the day after. Ted says, hey, I was there from 4 in the morning to about noon or so. Nobody did I see um, burglarize that house. That's important. Mm -hmm. So now then you have jail calls where people are talking about, well, you know, uh, we were the burglars and... 
That didn't get investigated totally. That information went to the police. They kicked it to the curb for a while. And now you have the van with the burnt out mattress, the burnt out van. Will there be DNA there? If there is, oh boy, will that be important? Will it happen? My guess is probably not because it's so old. But everything should be vetted. And LA Innocence Project has tremendously intelligent, hardworking attorneys, and they got a boatload of money. And that money will go into the investigation. It's important. Vet it. Let's put this to rest finally. Let the roaches alone. Let this finally be put to rest one way or the other. So not necessarily a different outcome, but get it all out there. Well, it should be better. We don't want to keep innocent people in jail if he didn't do this. Wh okay? Really quick before sure. we have to go, though, where would he be able to get a fair trial now, now that there's so much attention once uh, you again? You know, even in Los Angeles, not that many okay. people pay attention to this. We all do a NorCal because we live with it. It's part of our fabric. Down in L.A., yeah, I heard something about Peterson, but, I, yeah, what, what, what do you do again? Up here? Oh, chapter and verse. Not up here. Down there. Okay. They have other things to watch down there as well, <laughs> celebrities and such. And All right. Such. Okay. <laughs> All right, Michael Cardoza, legal analyst, thank you so much. We You're will welcome. undoubtedly be checking in with you Good throughout enough. this process. All right. Stay